Hi, my name is Eric, and I am going to go over the basics of WordPress with you today. This is available as part of your hosting plan. WordPress is one of the most popular blogging and website building applications in the market today. And using Install Central, setting up WordPress is extremely easy. Let's get started. Okay, the first step that you need to do is to actually install WordPress to your website. And what you need to do here is choose a blog title, an admin username and password, and email address. Decide where you want it to be installed to, also called the, also called the path to the application. In practical terms, this is where your website is actually going to be viewed. I've chosen demo. Choose you want to install it to the directory, even if the directory already exists. Select your database and click install now. This may take a couple minutes. Great, WordPress has been installed successfully. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Excellent. WordPress installs a default theme that has your title. Let's go back to Install Central and I'll show you how to redesign the appearance to truly make it your own. Great. Now let's log into the WordPress dashboard to modify it. Great. Now we're inside of the WordPress dashboard. To change the appearance, you need to click on the Appearance link in the left-hand column. Here you can see your default theme. The first thing I want to do is change that header image. So you click on Header, also in the left-hand navigation. Here you have a couple options. You can upload an image from your own desktop or you can choose from one of the default images that they have selected. I'm going to choose this beautiful sunset here. And just click Save Changes. Now let's see what your site looks like. There it is. It's great. Alright, let's go back to the dashboard. Now let's change the background color. You have a couple options here. One is upload an image to your background or change the color. Let's just change the color. I could go for a bright yellow background. There it is. Save changes. Now let's write your first post. Since WordPress provides a post already for you, let's just edit that one. This post is always called Hello World. Let's just change the name. New blog. And put in your own text. This is some example text. Now is text good enough? No. Let's add some media. You can choose from an image, video, music, or other media. Let's stick with images for now. Choose a file from your desktop. I have a WordPress logo right here. Let's insert it into the post. Click Update. Go back to your site. Refresh. And there it is, your very own WordPress website. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jason, and I'm going to show you how to build a website in minutes with our free drag and drop site builder included in your hosting account. When you click on the drag and drop builder from your control panel, you're going to go to a screen that looks just like this. The tabs running across the top of the page will show you all the items you can use to build your site, while the lower frame will show you a preview of your site so you can see exactly what you're doing at all times. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is pick a design. So we're going to click the design tab and choose a template. I like this one. And we're going to edit this template a little bit. So we click on some of the elements. So if you click on the images, you can upload your own image, which I have created. And you can switch any of the text on the page just by double clicking on it.
and then we're going to put some text on the page so we're going to pull in a paragraph with title and there you go there's our home page all right now that we have home page we're going to add a menu page so we're going to click on the menu the pages tab click new page we'll title it menu click edit this page let's pull in a paragraph with a picture this time so we'll title this menu and we're going to paste in some text that I have and let's bold all of these little subtitles here all right that looks nice and let's customize this image I have an image that I want to use for the menu oops click on the image and we can position it to the right we can change the border a little bit and uh, I think that looks pretty good all right we have a home and a menu page let's make one more page let's make a contact page we'll click on the pages tab click the new page button call it contact click the edit button and we're gonna put a contact form on this page and it's as simple as just pulling the contact form element down give it a custom title click this form options button and that will let us put in a location for where we want the submission to go so when someone submits this form it'll go to my email address here jason at mail.com so we finished creating our pages and the last thing to do is click the publish button in the top right corner and that will publish our site once the site has been published we'll get a little pop-up message that tells you your site has been successfully published and you can click on the link and check out your new site so here's our site home page menu page and contact page